Hi folks, Tony Zink here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove an enterprise project type in your Project Online or Project Server environment. Regardless of whether you're using Microsoft's Project Online cloud service or their Project Server on-premise application, the techniques that I'm going to show you today can be used in either case. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I've got a really useful tool that I use for my clients Project Online and Project Server implementations that I'd like to share with you. So having said that, let's get started. So here we are in my Project Online environment where I'm going to be doing my work today. Let's start by going to the Project Center by clicking on the Projects link over here on the Quick Launch Navigation menu. And let's click the Projects tab to expose the uh, ribbon toolbar across the top. I'd like to draw your attention first now to the New button. If I click on that, it shows me a list of the currently configured enterprise project types that are in the system. And we'll see here that we have two. SharePoint Tasks List, that's a default or, or built-in enterprise project type. And then one called Basic Project, that um, th this is our default enterprise project type, and I renamed this from the, from the one that comes built-in called Enterprise Project. So what we're going to do is go back into the PWA settings area to remove the SharePoint Tasks List enterprise project type because we don't need uh, that for, for our implementation. So I'm going to click the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click PWA settings to take us into the PWA settings area. Here we are on the PWA settings page and down here in the lower left hand corner under the workflow and project detail pages heading I will click on the Enterprise Project Types link. That takes me to the Enterprise Project Types page where I'll see those same two Enterprise Project Types or EPTs listed in the grid. SharePoint Tasks List and Basic Project. Let's go in and take a quick look at how the SharePoint Tasks List Enterprise Project Type is configured and why I want to remove it. I'll do that by clicking on the name SharePoint Tasks List and that will take me one level deeper into a page that shows me all the configuration options for this SharePoint Tasks List uh, project type. It shows me things like the name, the description, the project ID numbering scheme, and so forth. I'd like to draw your attention though to this setting right here, create new projects as SharePoint Tasks List projects. So anytime someone creates this type of a project in the system, a SharePoint Tasks List, project, the, what it's going to do is it's going to set it up basically as a, as a SharePoint tasks list in a project site rather than a sort of a proper uh, project schedule that you would create with a tool like Microsoft Project Professional. We're going to promote that our project managers and our project schedulers are going to use Project Professional to create their project schedules and so we're not going to have a need for this type of a feature in the system. So I will cancel out of this page by clicking the Cancel button in the upper right-hand corner of the page. There's also one down in the lower right-hand corner of the page. Either one works. If I click the Cancel button, it'll take me back to the Enterprise Project Types page and again show me those two EPTs that are listed in the grid. All I have to do to remove the SharePoint Tasks List uh, project type is select that row in the grid and go up here to the toolbar right above the grid where I see a button called Delete Enterprise Project Type. If I click that button, it'll warn me. It'll say, are you sure that you want to delete the selected Enterprise Project Types? I will say OK. And it'll go ahead and do that for me. And then the sc after the screen refreshes, it'll show me the one, in this case, one remaining uh, project type that's configured in the system, Basic Project. So let's go back and take a look at the Project Center page and see what changed there. Clicking on the Projects tab or the Projects link over in the Quick Launch Navigation menu takes me to the Project Center page and I'll click on the Projects tab in the upper left hand corner to activate the, uh, the, the ribbon toolbar. Clicking on the New button in the upper left hand corner shows a drop down menu here with now only one enterprise project type in the system, Basic Project. The SharePoint Tasks List enterprise project type is no longer listed. So I'm going to come back later in a, in a future video and uh, show you how to create new enterprise project types, but for now we're all set. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you've got any questions on this topic, 
please feel free to ask them down in the comments section. Now to help make your job of configuring and administering a little bit easier, I'd like to share with you a tool that I use for designing and documenting Project Online and Project Server implementations, my Configuration Blueprint template. I've been using and fine-tuning this template for over 15 years, and now you can use it to design and capture every single application configuration setting for your Project Online or Project Server implementation. And although I don't think anybody actually enjoys doing documentation, I know I don't, if you've got to do it, then at least this tool can make it a lot easier for you. So if you'd like to download my configuration blueprint template for free, then visit my site at tonyzink.com forward slash blueprint and grab it today. Thanks again, and good luck.